Hi guys! Now today's video is a very highly requested one and it is on a makeup starter kit. So I've never really seen, uh, I've never really watched any of these videos so I don't know what other uh, videos are like when it comes to this particular um, theme I guess you could say. But the way I thought of it was uh, if I could have asked someone when I really first started getting into makeup, you know, where do I start? What do I use? What's out there that you recommend? It would have been so helpful because I have made my fair share of mistakes when it comes to makeup when I was younger. Just not knowing what to use, not knowing what's best, not knowing what's subtle, not knowing, you know, really not knowing a whole lot about makeup. I just kind of threw myself in there. I just bought like really cheap, cheap items and they didn't end up working out so well. So what I have here is a basket. It's actually a Christmas basket. I like that. So this would be perfect for a gift too to, for someone, but it's filled with goodies. I don't know if you can see. It's filled with goodies that I feel like are perfect to have in your collection, to start up your collection, or even to add them to your collection if you don't have them already. And I also want to mention that these products, I did not just go out and buy new products. These are true and tried and tested. I've had some of these for years and I love them. And um, I was excited to share them with you. Uh, apart from just, I think, two or three items, everything is drugstore. And the reason why those two or three items are high end is because I really wanted to be able to suggest a product I really stand by. And I think that, you know, it's the best that I've tried out of every single other one that I've tried. And, um, you know, it's great. So I'm going to start with face and then go go on from there. Now the primer that I would suggest to anyone that has normal skin, like normal to maybe a little bit oily skin. I don't have oily skin, I have normal dry skin and this primer works wonders for my skin. It's the best primer I've ever used. It is the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It's the best out there. It keeps my makeup on forever. I love the way it's, it kind of fills in my pores a bit. It's just the best there is and I have yet to find a primer high-end or drugstore that I love as much as this. Now this is pricey. I believe this is about $36 but a little goes a long way and in my opinion if you're gonna buy something just buy something that's really really good like a primer that's gonna lock in everything else and uh, you just don't even have to bother trying any other primer on it. This is really the best. For foundation, now this is a foundation, this is a drugstore foundation, it's my all time favorite drugstore foundation that I have gone back to recently because I love it so much. It's the Revlon Color Stay. Now what I love about this foundation is that it's long wearing, it's medium to buildable coverage. This one is a normal to dry skin and it just leaves my face looking perfect. I love the longevity of it and what I really love is that you can get the normal to dry skin or you can get a um, oily com or combo to oily skin uh, formula. So if you have normal to dry skin, this will work perfect for you. If you have uh, oily skin, there's an oily skin, there's a skin, there's a formula for oily skin. Now I've turned a lot of my girlfriends onto this foundation because it is just one of my favorites. And I mean, it does beat a lot of my high-end foundations. My Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation does not even compare to this. Um, my, let me see, just from what I have in front of me, uh, what is this, my Stila Stay All Day Foundation, um, what else is here, I just, I mean, it, it's really one of the best of the best, and um, I really feel like no matter what your skin tone is, you're going to find a match for you, which is another plus and why I love this foundation so much. For powder, I went with a new discovery, and Ever since I discovered it, I cannot stop using it because I absolutely love it so much. It's the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Powder. Now this is technically a mineral foundation. So it's really two on one. If you wanted to just use this as a foundation all day, um, during the day, if you didn't want to wear a liquid foundation underneath, if you're going for a really natural quick look, this will provide you with a good amount of coverage. But applied lightly with a, like a soft brush, this is beautiful on top of just about any foundation, any liquid foundation. Now, I don't wear this on top of my um, Estee Lauder Double Wear because my Estee Lauder Double Wear and my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundations, those are two foundations I use primarily for filming Laura in the Kitchen because they are really full coverage, still really matte, and when I film for Laura in the Kitchen, I get really oily and hot and sweaty, and I feel like this just makes my face look a little bit cakey because you're applying a mineral foundation on top of such a heavy coverage liquid foundation. So I wouldn't wear it on top of that, 
but on top of pretty much any other foundation I've tried, it looks magnificent. On top of any drugstore foundation, these two together will give you like an airbrushed finish. It's just um, incredible. And I also love that you could wear this on its own and give you enough coverage to go ahead and go about your day and kind of fixes any imperfection on your face as far as like if you've got discoloration or something, this really does um, conceal that if this is all you wanted to wear. For bronzer, I have two bronzers. I have a matte bronzer that you can use for contour and I have another bronzer that's got a little bit of luminosity to it that you could use to bronze up your face with. And that one in particular is the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder. Uh, this is 110 Glow Medium. This is so beautiful. I, again, I've discovered this a couple months ago and I've used it so much. It's totally, it's, it's a beautiful color. It's got a subtle glow to it. It's not orange, it's not muddy, it looks great on the skin, it gives you a subtle glow, just like you've been out in the sun and you've been kissed by the sun or something. It's just beautiful. For bronzing up the skin, it's really, really nice. And what I love about it is that it does blend out really, really well. So if you are a newbie at makeup, you don't have to worry about sort of having these big streaks of bronzer all over the face. I feel like this blends out really, really nicely and you don't have like glowy bronze bits and spots all over your face so that's a really nice one and then my favorite and I have to say this is probably my all-time favorite matte bronzer this is the NYX matte bronzer and this particular color is medium this is my favorite matte bronzer <coughs> high-end or drugstore it's really 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 nice it's beautifully pigmented it's this one right here it's beautifully pigmented, it's not too cool toned, it's not too warm toned. I feel like it applies beautifully. I've had this for about a year now and I have yet to hit pan even though I use it so much. It's just my favorite, um, my favorite matte bronzer, high end or drugstore. And if you're getting used to, like if you're starting to contour, again, this is a really nice one that if you make a mistake, you can easily blend it out. It's not too harsh. It doesn't kind of set into your skin and then it's hard to blend, which I think is really important when you are new at, you know, at makeup. For example, for me in this particular video, I'm not, um, you know, and I, and I had a hard time with this not sort of talking about and suggesting wet and wild products because yes they are inexpensive and yes the color payoff is great and yes some of the colors are beautiful in their eyeshadows and blushes but the problem is they're so pigmented that they can be really hard to work with especially their blushes I feel like once you put on a, on one of their blushes it's so pigmented that it's so hard to blend and again when I was new in makeup you should have seen some of the mistakes I've made I mean I had like bright pink like clown cheeks right up here because I went ahead and bought the Wet n Wild uh, blushes because they were inexpensive and no one told me that they were so pigmented that it would be impossible to blend out properly unless in my I mean at least in my opinion which is why I didn't suggest them in this video I'm suggesting two other bron uh, blushes for you blush lines I should say that I love so much and I have pretty much every single color and that is the Milani baked blushes and the NYX, um, these are just the regular blushes, I believe. Now, these two colors in particular, I love. I mean, they're beautiful. This NYX one is an amber, and it's beautiful for this time of year as well. That one right there. And then this Milani one is in Coralina, which is a beautiful, shimmery coral color, perfect for fall. I mean, look at those. Coralina and amber. Now, what I love about both of these lines is that they, they have never let me down. I feel like they're very consistent with their pigmentation. It's not like this blush in particular is really, really good, and then another one's not good. I have pretty much all of these, and I can honestly say that they're all incredible. These have a, there, there's a difference, um, there are different finishes in the NYX blushes. There's mattes and there's some uh, shimmery ones. And then this one, these are primarily baked, baked blushes. They've got a nice amount of shine and a little bit of sh a sheen and sh shimmer to them. But I love that. I think it gives you like life to your cheekbones if you've got a little bit of shine, a little bit of something you know sparkling. I mean, obviously, it's not like you're, you have a disco ball in your cheekbones, but. I just love both of these lines and they are by far my favorite, favorite drugstore blush lines. Um, and some of these I prefer more than my high-end blushes. So needless to say, I stand by them.
for a highlighter. Now I haven't, to be honest, I haven't tried a ton of store um, drugstore highlighters just because I don't think that there isn't a lot of them. But one of them that I have tried about a month and a half ago, I purchased it and I love it. It's by Physicians Formula and it's a translucent pearl one. This is, again, it rivals a lot of my high-end um, highlighters. And look at that. It's not chunky. I mean, obviously, you'd apply it uh, not that harsh, but the point is that you can kind of see the color payoff. Beautifully pigmented. Looks great on the cheekbone. When you blend it out, I mean, it just gives you a gorgeous glow. Right on top of your cheekbone, down the nose, right on your cupid's bow. I think it's it's stunning and I have the bronze one as well but I do prefer the translucent pearl I think it's um I think it's a better it's got a little bit better pigmentation and it's more versatile you can kind of use it on any on any look you're going for whether it's a cool tone look or a warm tone look I feel like when you share this out when you blend it out really well it just looks magnificent on your cheekbones and now for a brow product, now I'm wearing this today in conjunction with my MAC Brow Pencil because I always use my MAC Brow Pencil no matter what. Now most people don't need to draw on their, eye uh, their eyebrows, excuse me. All you need to do is kind of fill them in a little bit and give them a tiny bit of shape. And my favorite drugstore little palette for that is the Brow Fix Kit by Milani. Now I'm using this today, I'm using this dark brown color. And as you can see, it just makes, I mean, it, it works perfectly with my hair color, and I do have black hair. I dye my hair black. So it, this is the dark, I believe. Yeah, this is the 03 dark. They have different shades, so it, there's a lighter, lighter shades as well. I just think this is phenomenal. I think the, the longevity on this product is awesome. Um, it, in, in my humble opinion, I think it's just as good as the Anastasia Brow Powder. I have to be honest, the color matches me perfectly. This dark color matches me perfectly. And if I didn't have to kind of draw on my eyebrows, this is, would be all I would use. If I had to just fill them in a little bit and give them a little bit of a shape, this is all I would use. So this is phenomenal. So I really, really love that. For concealer, I have to give it to my favorite and it's gonna be no shock to you guys. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This particular color is in fair. Um, my all-time favorite concealer, again, high-end or drugstore. I use this pretty much every single day. It's easy to blend. It doesn't settle into your fine lines. It lasts all day long. Um, it's just, I can't even tell you how many I've, per I've repurchased over the past couple of years because I love this so much. I think it's a phenomenal product. One of the best products I have purchased from the drugstore in years. Definitely on my top five best products of all time that I've ever used. It's just better than any high-end concealer I have ever tried. I'm very happy with it and um, I like that it's creamy but it's not too thick so that it kind of like sets into your fine lines and you can really see where you have concealer on your under your eye you know because when sometimes when they're too thick they're, they're not very easy to blend out you know but this is just perfect and, and I can say enough things about it. Okay, let's move on to eyes. I have a primer, and I this is a high-end primer, but, but that's honestly because I think it's the best primer out there. It's the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I think this works fantastic. It is the best primer I've ever tried. However, if you do want to try a drugstore alternative, the NYX HD, um, HD primer, eye primer, is wonderful as well. It doesn't last as long as this one. I feel like anytime I'm wearing this Too Faced, to the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, my eye makeup just lasts a little bit longer than if I use my NYX one. However, if you just want to, you know, if you want to just try out and you don't, you don't worry about having to keep your eyeshadow on for hours and hours and hours, then the NYX one is just as good for that purpose. It just, it works wonders, I have to say. And now for eyeshadows now I know the naked palette is like crazy the rage all the Lorac Pro like all those big expensive palettes and they're all wonderful I will say that but when you are new to makeup and you don't want to make the investment of a $50 palette and you still want those neutrals because I do suggest starting out with neutrals before you venture into dark colors or smoky eyes or things like that my favorite palette for that has to be the NYX 10 color eyeshadow palette in caviar and bubbles now, this is like the perfect drugstore neutral palette. It's got a lot of beautiful colors, a couple of mattes in there as well, and then a couple of shimmers. And just to show you a little bit of the payoff on some of these, I mean, look at that. 
those are beautiful colors they swatch beautifully they blend beautifully on the eye you can do a lot of basic looks with this or you can even do some smokier looks by using the darker shades but I feel like this is a wonderful and basic palette that you should have in your collection as to start off with because again it's got pretty much everything you need to start you know to, to start learning how to apply makeup and stuff like that, uh, eyeshadows and whatnot this is like a perfect start it's got everything you need to make any eyeshadow look whether it's a light one for like a casual day or a little bit more amped up or a smoky eye you can really ma mix and match and if you don't have this in your collection if you are a makeup lover I think you should get it because it's a it's a nice one to travel with it's nice and small it's around ten dollars and you do get ten different colors 10, oh my goodness, Laura, really? It does say 10 color eyeshadow palette after all, so it does have 10 eyeshadows in here, but I love this. It's one of my favorites. And to go along with that, if you do want to try like a couple shadows here and there and you want to buy a few singles, the NYX single eyeshadows are fantastic. This one is a nude. It's a perfect nude color. It's a lovely matte color. I love to put this all over the lid. Um, and it's a nice, it's a really, really nice base as well. And really often, if you go to Ulta, they have buy one, get one 50% off from NYX. And these are like $4. And you can buy one for $4 and one for $2. I mean, it's really a good deal. So if you go in, you can buy a couple here and there, little ones, just to try out. Maybe if you want to start the darker colors or more colorful colors and you don't want to commit to a big palette, that's the way to go. For a couple of eyeshadow bases, again, I'm going back to NYX because I feel like well, NYX is one of the first uh, brands I've ever started like purchasing when I very first got into makeup because they did have like different uh, eyeshadow bases and different eyeshadows and lipsticks and lip liners and all that fun stuff. And these two are a couple of my favorites. These are the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils and this one is in Iced Mocha and this one is in Yogurt. They're basic colors. This Iced Mocha one is like a, a bronzy, taupey color. And then this yogurt one is like a champagne gold, I would say, like rosy gold champagne color. Now, I would say that I normally, when I put this on, I put a, a primer underneath because I feel like this isn't as long wearing as, say, my Urban Decay 24 hour or whatever they're called, the eyeshadow. Yeah, the eyeshadow pencils, um, these are not as long wearing as those. But again, if you're not wearing your makeup for hours and hours on end and you're just learning to get you know, you're learning about makeup, this is a great way to start, to amp up your eyeshadow and uh, just to add to your collection. And again, these are like four bucks and there's always a sale on Ulta's website, so you can't go wrong. Um, for eyeliner, for liquid liner, I'm suggesting that you try out the Maybelline, Maybelline Master Precise. That this is a liquid liner and the reason why I'm suggesting this um, and not something like the Line Stiletto is because it's much easier for you to work with. It's like a pen, and it's not, the, the tip is not so flimsy that you're kind of worried about um, where your cat eye is going, you know, you, it just, you can really work with it easy. It's nice and dark, as you can see, and the fact that it's a pen, you have so much control over it, and it's really, really close to my all-time favorite, which is the Stila one. But again, if you're starting makeup, you don't want to spend twenty-some dollars on a liquid liner, this is a really great option, and I use this just as often as I use my Stila one. I just tend to use my Stila when I have to go, and I, I have to go to a business meeting in New York or something, and I know I have to have my makeup on for a good 14, 15 hours, and I use my Stila one because I know it's not going to go anywhere. And as for um, mascara, I, this is a new one for me. I would have suggested the Revlon, no, not Revlon, L'Oreal Carbon Black, Voluminous Carbon Black, and I still love that one. It's still a fantastic mascara. But this is my new drugstore favorite. This is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. This is really, really good mascara, way better than a lot of my high-end mascaras. So I definitely think that if you want to try a good mascara, this is the way to go. This is the regular black. It's not the waterproof. I don't use waterproof mascara because I find it's such a pain to take off. Um, but this is awesome. It's really nice and black. Gives me a lot of volume. Gives me length. And I just love it. A couple of coats of this and you're in business. For pencil liner, I don't have it right here with me because I don't know where I put it. I might have dropped it somewhere. 
but I can't move from you because I'm hooked up to a mic. But I would definitely suggest that you try the Milani Liquify in black or any of the colors you want to try. It's one of the best eyeliners from the drugstore I've ever found. It's long wearing, it's creamy, it's jet black if you get the black one. It's really, really black and it stays wonderfully in the waterline. Um, you'd have to apply uh, maybe once or twice throughout the day if you want it to last all day, but it is one of the best ones I have ever ever come across. Now let's talk lips. I have just a few products and then we are done. Um, you guys know that I love my NYX lip liners. I think they're one of the best purchases I've ever made. Again, I have um, almost all of them. They're so great. I really, really enjoyed them. But I'm particularly talking about three colors uh, and the line as well. I mean, the line in general of all these three products are great. But this NYX lip liner in um, pale pink if you are not used to wearing lipstick, if you want to start wearing lipstick but you don't know which way to go, I would totally stay away from nudes because the reason why I say that is because there's so many different color ranges of nudes. You know, you can go really brown or really pale and unless you've been wearing makeup for a long time and you kind of know your skin tone and what works best for your skin tone, you can make a really big mistake and buy a nude that's really light and it looks like your lips are dead or it's too dark. So I always suggest going with a light pink because it goes with any look and it's totally faux proof. And my favorite combination of a really subtle light pink is this NYX lip liner in pale pink and then this, this lipstick from Rimmel and Airy Fairy. Now this looks awesome on its own but it's particularly beautiful on top of that lip liner. This is what it looks like right here. It's just one of my favorite lipsticks, and if you're gonna have one lipstick in your collection, I would go with this one because again, it goes with anything. And my one of my favorite lines of lip glosses from the drugstore is a Revlon Color Burst, and I love this one in pink ice. It's got little sparkles in it, um, but they're not sort of too big and chunky. It's just really, really subtle, and it's a beautiful, beautiful light pink. And this would work great on top of any pink lipstick, whether it's really really hot pink or a pale pink or even over top of a nude to give it a little bit of color um i love this but i love the whole color the, the whole color burst line i think they're fantastic i have a ton of these and i find myself reaching for them time and time again because they're not too sticky i love the formula i love the colors i just think it's awesome the same goes with this lip liner and from the airy fairy i i just think this is the best basic lipstick in, ever no matter what, high end or drugstore, this is the best. I have so many of my girlfriends that I purchased this and love it. So trust me when I tell you that these are true and tried products. And last but not least, a makeup setting spray. Because if you do want your makeup to set all day, to stay all day, or if you want to get rid of any of the powder look on your face after you've applied your makeup, you need a good spray. And my favorite is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Now this is just a travel version because I ran out of my big bottle, which I will be repurchasing very, very soon. This is just the best. This is, I mean, there's no other words out there. Out of every one of them that I've tried, this is my all-time favorite because not only does it keep your makeup on looking good and lasting all day, but the best part about this is that the way it feels, it's like cool and refreshing and it gets rid of any of that powder look after you've applied your powder on top of your liquid foundation and blush and bronzer and all that fun stuff. So that is everything. I know how I rambled on, but I wanted to really suggest products to you that I love and I think that would be a perfect collection for you, um, you know, getting started into makeup. I would, I mean, all these products are wonderful and again these are products I've had for a long time and that I really enjoy using and I wanted to pass that along to you. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know down below future videos you want to see from this channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.